Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a what's in my bag video for you and um, I've been meaning to film this for such a long time, it's like one of my most requested videos but I just never get around to it because my bag's always a mess. Like, I've had a bit of a clear out, I've organised some things, made them look a bit neater, thrown away like a thousand old receipts that are in the bottom. So um, yeah, this is my bag, it's a kind of like Mulberry Alexa ripoff that I just got from eBay. It's it's quite a good quality considering like it was quite cheap. I've heard about about £20 for this, so a little bit more than you would do for like a cheapy bag, but you know, enough to make it like reasonably good quality. Um, it's quite big and it you get a lot in it, so like I like to carry around, you know, everything I own basically in my bag in the day, just so I'm always prepared for any situation. Um, so yeah, first thing I have in here is my iPhone. I obviously carry this around everywhere I go, cannot be without it. Um, this is an iPhone 4, and I'm waiting for iPhone 5 actually. It's in the post and it has been now for like, I don't even know, a month possibly? Um, and they just won't, they won't give it to me, I don't know why. So hopefully that'll be here soon because this is getting a bit battered now, so many cracks and scratches in it. Um, and iPhone 5 you can actually film in HD quality, so I might be doing some sort of like vlogs and things, so let me know if you're interested in that. I forgot my little table, I'm having to just chuck the stuff on the floor. <laughs> Um, okay, next of all is my purse, and this is quite a big, chunky purse I've had for such a long time. I got this a couple of Christmases ago, um, it's from River Island, it's just one of those like carpet bag ones. It's really pretty, and I have like, obviously like all my cards and <laughs> professional driving licence, still can't drive. Um, just like random bits and bobs, like coupons and everything you'd find in a normal purse. And I also carry around this little coin purse that I got from Primark, just because like, that one does not hold change well at all, it just falls out and ends up in the bottom of the bag, so I just got this little cheap one from Parliament which is quite cute, it's got these little sort of heart clasps on it, and I just carry around all my loose change in there. Um, next I have my little kind of notebook, I absolutely love this, it's such a pretty colour. Um, I got this when I was on holiday um, in Wales, I'm not even sure where I got it, it's from a brand called Paper Thinks, um, but it was between this and a moleskin and I know they're all kind of like really hyped and everyone has one but I just preferred this, I thought the colour was lovely and it's got this really like good quality leather case to it so I just, I'm such a list maker now, I used to be so disorganised and then I got myself a notebook and just all I do now is write lists. So I've got, this is my little sort of, if I think of something I want to blog about or I want to do a video about I just write it all in here so I've got like, I don't know if you can see that like list of videos I want to film and posts and like planning it all so yeah, I'm actually quite organised. Um, I've got my Kindle in here, which is actually completely out of battery. I've been reading this um, on the way to work. Um, it's just a standard sort of, I'm not sure what model it's called. I did have a Kindle with a keypad, but I sat on it, I think, and it broke, so it's not so good. But it's just um, this version here. I think it's it's not the Kindle Touch, it's the one before that. Um, and most people ask me um, where I got this little um, sticker from. It's actually just it's literally a sticker, it's not a case, um, I just got it from eBay, I don't remember really where I got it from so I'll try and find it and link it below if you want to go and check it out, um, but if not just search like Kindle sticker and eBay and you get a thousand different results, um, yeah so I always carry that around. <laughs> if I'm not really into the books that I have on there, I've got a magazine, a company magazine, it's my favourite one, um, I love their new like, well it's not really new anymore, but the rebranding that they did where they have the kind of like matte texture paper and um, all really like cool fonts. It's a lot more blogger based now I think I found so it's obviously like something I really like to read so I enjoy reading that. And it's got Letitia on it. I think I was the only one that wanted Letitia to win on Britain's Next Top Model. It's got a little mini hairspray that's lost its lid. This is Tresemme one. I love that hairspray. It's the only one I've bought for like the last five years. It's just always the best. Um, I've got a little Soap and Glory handmade sanitising gel. I like to use this because where I work I get kind of like touching people and money and things so yeah, I like to keep my hands like sanitised so I use this quite a lot during the day and this is the only one I've found that like doesn't stink of antibacterial sort of smell um, it just smells like the regular Soap and Glory smell so I love that um, an umbrella because you know you're always going to get rained on I've got some little mints in there um, a mirror can't be without a mirror um, chewing gum. This is the really kind of like boring stuff at the bottom now. 
um, headphones, just to listen to the music on my iPhone. Um, and then, this is the slightly more exciting thing, this is, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, this is um, my little sort of day-to-day -day makeup bag, so things I carry around in my handbag, and it's this little um, Chloe bag. I think I got this with the perfume, so I didn't actually buy this, I'm not sure where you can buy it, but it's so cute, it's lasted me for such a long time. So in the front of that I've got just some little bobby pins because I always need these. I must go through like hundreds of them just in a week. Um, and you know, like a hairband, a hair tie, just in case I want to put my hair up. Um, right, so I've got a hand cream in here. This ooh, is a bit battered. It's the Body Shop Hemp Hand Protector. This is my absolute favourite hand cream. I've got so many of these lying around, like completely used up. And, um, but it's just really lovely, like really deeply moisturising. It's got a bit of a funny smell. But that smile's kind of like totally grown on me um, since I've been using it. Um, but it's just like so deeply hydrating for the hands, and it's just like the best one I've ever tried. Um, I've got some lip balms. The um, Nux Rev de Mil uh, lip balm, which is just beautiful. It smells so lovely. This is in my September favourites, I think. Oh, it's like honey orange sort of. Oh, just beautiful, and it's so moisturising for your lips as well. And I've got a cheap little. Nivea one, just because I like the smell of this too. It's quite similar, it's called Milk and Honey. But I mainly carry this around like when I don't want something too moisturising, like the, the NYX one. Um, but when I kind of just want something to put on before lipstick, um, so really quick and easy and not too hydrating. Um, but I just love the smell of that one, so yeah, that's a Nivea Milk and Honey. Um, and I've got a lip product. I usually carry around whatever lipstick I'm wearing like throughout the day. So at the moment I'm wearing the Kate Moss Lasting Finish. 107. It doesn't actually have a name. Oh, I think it's the only Kate Moss one that doesn't have a name, but yeah. It's a sort of um, deep, sort of burgundy colour. really like a nice autumn colour, so that's what I'm wearing on my lips at the moment. Oh, sorry, my voice has gone really croaky. I've been talking all day and now it's just going. Yeah, so that's the, I carry around like whatever lip product I'm wearing on my lips. And always carry on mascara because mascara just does not seem to last on me whatsoever. Like by the middle of the day it's just gone grey, I don't know why, whatever one I use. Um, but this is the Revlon Grow Lashes. really like this mascara at the moment. It's really nice for kind of like thickening out your lashes but making them quite long as well. And I have, I think, I have been noticing that my lashes have been growing. I've been using this sort of every day for the last hmm, month or so. And I do think my lashes have got a little bit longer, so that's quite interesting. Yes, yeah, so that's the grey lashes mascara. And then I've got oh, two more things. I've got a concealer, Collection 2000 concealer, because I always get like the darkest under eye circles that just cannot be fixed. I have to top that up quite regularly. And then I've just got a little eye pencil here. This is just like a nude eye pencil. It's the one of the new Rimmel waterproof ones. Um, and I just put this on my waterline like throughout the day, at the end of the day, when I'm looking a bit tired and I've got a bit of redness in my eyes. So this just takes all that down and makes you look a bit fresher, a bit more awake. Um, yeah, so they're the main little bits that I carry around, just to like... I don't really put more makeup on throughout the day, I just like freshen up a little bit. So, um, yeah, I carry those all in this little Chloe case here. Um, so that's everything I have in my bag. It's not actually as much as I thought it was, but, you know, it does get quite heavy. You do get like a shoulder ache with it. Um, yeah, but I hope you enjoy that guys, and I'd love to see like everyone else's bag, so you yeah, do a video response or just let me know what you carry around in your bag. Um, yeah, and I'll see you soon guys. Bye!